Hello, my gorgeous cherubs, and all of your friends, and all who live with you, teach you, work with you. Best job in the world. Best job in the world. It fills my heart. It is my heart. I love it. And that's why I'm still doing these videos, just to share. I just adore it. I just think, I wish that everybody, after COVID particularly, would just reach out to each other. And my own feelings, as I've been outside is that actually people are even more in their bubbles, even without face masks on. So it's just such a joy to me to share and to reach out, not just to kids with autism, ADHD, dyslexia, whatever jam jar label you have, because I think labels should be for jam and not human beings, as I've said before. Um, it could be a double-edged sword. It's nice to get a diagnosis in a way, but then it's a double-edged sword. But we won't go there today because I'm calm and I'm going to show you some more touch therapy. Last week, I loved sharing with you just another tool, another th another way to use touch. If if massage is too invasive for you, you don't like massage, you know, it's courses for horses, isn't it? And it depends on your mood as well. I find that, um, you know, but EFT, emotional freedom technique, helps to free you from physical, emotional pain. And it's it can be instant relief in many cases, but if you if you use it as a general practice, the benefits are huge and it really keeps you on top of those yucky feelings. And we're human beings, we have that whole spectrum of feelings. And you know, anger's there to protect us. You know, sadness is there because we have to process grief or loss. So it's all part of who we are. But what we don't want to be is end up being sad and angry people, you know, as a, as a rule. You know, we're full of so much more than that. And there are still so many beautiful things in this world. There really, really are. I do believe that genuinely. And I see it all the time in my work. So I'm really blessed lady, you know. I've had funny times in my life, but you know what? It it does does help you. It gives you heart wisdom. It gives you that compassion. It lets you think outside the box a little bit, become tenacious, find different ways to use your story to help others. You know, it, it's it's turning that poo poo to compost. I think that's okay to say on YouTube. I could have said a worse word and I didn't. I was very polite because children watch this channel. So I was well behaved on that one. Did you notice? Anyway, that's what it's all about. You can either sit in it and stink or you can turn it to compost and grow flowers. Anyway, I'm going to get on with the EFT. So emotional freedom technique. Well, it was actually based, it was developed as a therapy by a guy called Gary Craig, who's brilliant. And he developed the therapy based on the landmark discoveries of Dr. Roger Callahan. And it's based on releasing you from those physical, emotional yuckies, as I call them. So negative feelings, things like anger, fear, cravings, nightmares, worries, anxiety. That It's a whole host of different things, you know, scared of trying something new, feeling isolated. You know, this is, this is mental health. So this really, yes, it will fantastically help if you have, or live with somebody who has autism, um, is autistic, dyslexic, ADHD, ADD, PDA, whatever jam jar label you are. And I'm sorry, but I do see them as jam jar labels. You know, labels are not really for human beings. And, I, and that's no disrespect, because believe you me, I had to fight like mad to get the diagnosis for my son. I fought for five years to get it. So I know how important it, those diagnoses are. So I'm not whitewashing that in any shape or form but it doesn't define your child you know as the author of the reason I jump wrote he was 13 non-verbal autistic and he said you know why can't people just see autism as one of my traits you know I love writing I love jumping my body's free when I jump you know it doesn't define you and remember as I've said in previous videos if you've missed those if you do get that diagnosis that um, the EFH, if you, if you get all that in place, do remember that even with that educational healthcare plan and a diagnosis, it can actually, there's still a lot of ignorance. There's still a lot of people who think special needs equals less or it's somehow a broken version of normal and you're not. 
you're fabulous. And those budgets, by the way, go into a big melting pot. They don't come with your child's name on. So you fight for that. Hold the schools accountable because they're legally allowed to spend it wherever they want. And nine times out of 10, that won't be on your child, as I found out on my journey with my Ollie. So I'd rather share that heartbreak with you because then, you know, I'm growing something from that. I'm making compost. It's nearly rude then. Need another bit more caffeine. So that's it. Anyway, I'm going, to, I'm going to show you some now. So EFT, it's based on acupressure points. And the key to it is you've got to have a positive thought in your head. So you might be worried, but you might think, yes, I'm worried, but I can get over this. Or, you know, I might struggle to concentrate, but I'm a good kid. Because you are. You are, you know, unfortunately, labels often come with unofficial labels. So ADHD, behaviour, oh my God, if I had a pound for every time a tip, sorry, <clears throat> not just teachers. It's not their fault, by the way. It comes from government. They still call it conduct disorders. So that's why I love to go and give teacher trainings because it gives that real education behind different abilities because that's all it is. These kids aren't naughty. Their brains are wired differently. It's as simple as that. And with that come huge gifts, which are not only so important for neurotypical people to learn, but to take into the workplace. You know, that hyper-focus, that fabulous energy, you know, that, that ability to research, to be passionate about stuff, to think outside the box, to stick at things until they're through, to be reliable, to be tenacious, to be industrious. You know, all of these things which, you know, neurotypical people, no offence, because we're not different communities, everybody's needed. But there is a different way of thinking that comes with being neurodiverse. And that's all it is, is neurodiverse. Anyway, I'm going on a bit of a rant. God, you can imagine my public speaking. Oh, God. Anyway, I get a bit passionate. Anyway, so I shared with you last week some of it. I'm going to get on with it now and show you some today. So just under your collarbones, right under your collarbone there, you have got, and in, in, in acupressure, they are anxiety points. Now, sometimes you can massage and sometimes you can literally press and release. I'm going to be really honest with you here because I like, I just like to be real. And maybe I say a bit too much on these videos. Maybe I should start watching them back and editing them. But then it's not me. So what comes out comes out, even if it's poo poo or flipping or whatever it is I'm on about. So just under your collarbones, when I get really anxious, and I do have periods where my anxiety is through the levels. I mean, it's ridiculous. And, and there's a difference between having moments of anxiety and suffering with anxiety. And as I've said before, my autistic son, as he was growing up, said autism was never his disability. It was anxiety. And that really was. And it led to massive massive mental health problems that affected his life way, way more and way more negatively than being autistic ever did. Being autistic has brought him the most tremendous gifts, actually, as well as challenges. So under your collarbone, when I get super anxious, going back to my original point, I actually can't massage there because it's so tender. So tapping is a great way to do it. And it's ever so light. And to date, there's been absolutely no negative side effects to emotional freedom technique. I thoroughly have done my research. I'm always up to date with all the research. I never stop learning. I love it. it gives me a massive, massive tingly, tingly buzz. I'm such a weirdo. Anyway, so just tap there. So for instance, on the days I'm anxious and you tap the same message in throughout. So I would tap, um, yes, I am anxious, but I've got this. Yes, I am anxious, but I've got this. Yes, I am anxious, but I've got this. So, and I will tap that positivity in. Another place that you then do it is the side of the hand, just on the side of the hand there. And do both hands, because as I've said to you before, the muscles in the hand relate to the muscles in the brain. So it's like a little bit of a brain gym, a bit of a workout, you know, without stinky rubber gyms and beautiful people who make me feel a bit weird but not good word this time. Yes, yeah, so just tap there, two fingers, just tap there. 
I'm not anxious, I've got this. I'm not anxious, I've got this. Or if you're always in trouble at school because you've got ADHD and your brain physically can't let you concentrate for an hour and a half because that's the way your brain is wired, just tap in. I've got ADHD, but I'm not a bad kid. I've got ADHD, but I'm not a bad kid and you're not. Please believe that, you're not. And unfortunately, what happens is when you get these labels at school, the kids, other kids pick up on it and unfortunately it becomes a button that they can press. So that's what I mean about the double-edged thing with labels. Anyway, the next thing you do is under your arm. So I did use a lovely deodorant this morning. I always do. But, you know, it's important, isn't it? You know, a bit of hygiene. Tap under your arm. Smell gorgeous while you tap. And just repeat that message. I may have ADHD, but I'm a good kid. Or it might be, I, I, I'm autistic, but I've got great gifts. No one understands me, but I've got great gifts. No one understands me, but I've got great gifts. No one understands me, but I'm going to be something in life. Whatever message it is, but it's the same message you're tapping in all the time when you do the sequence. You can change it for another day because we feel different on different days. But if you're doing a sequence all at once, then you have that same message for that time that you are tapping it in. So then the next one is the wrist. So it's just on top of the wrist, two fingers on top of the wrist. And again, do both. Wrists actually are all about wanting to be here survival wrists and ankles all about survival and sometimes when our mental health is really deteriorating and we really don't feel understood and school is a living purgatory or even the workplace where you're not understood you know it's really hard to want to be here and I can relate to that too obviously I've never acted on it but yeah I've had black times I have and this has really really helped me so I'll show you that little sequence again. So it's under the collarbone, two fingers. Tap that positive message in. Under your arm. Both sides, under your arm. The side of your hand. And just a few times, just tap. And then on your wrist. So I'm gonna show you the whole sequence together now, putting together what I showed you last week. So you start with the top of your head not the crown because if you remember in any whoever comes to me even if they say they feel fine they could have a mental health issue going on that they don't want to recognize or aren't aware of because it's become their norm so i never tap the crown i never massage the crown the reason being it's the meeting of a hundred pathways it's where a lot of meridians to the body and particularly the gut begin so you don't want to tap that and send someone into psychosis or overload so I'm always very gentle with whoever I work with so you just tap your head and you're putting in that message just like that and you do the side of the eyes just the temples really and the temples are the capital city of all the happy hormones and coping chemicals you've also got a concentration point there so that's a really good one if you have dyslexia autism ADHD Dys dyscalculia, anything like that, because you are having to fight twice as hard to concentrate as a neurotypical child in that classroom. Or if you're in the workplace as an adult, you are. Those are some of the challenges that are lifelong. So this is a really good way to do it. You can even just pinch it, actually. Then it's a bit more discreet than, you know, having a having a work meeting and suddenly going like this. It might look a bit odd. But if lots of people do it, if you just bend over and do that, you'll get away with it. There's always a way. I'm Italian. There's always a way. So then you've got under your eyes. This is about anger. This is about anger. That's why we get those eye migraines. That's rage. Under your eyes. Your, under your nose. That's another anxiety point in acupressure. Your chin. It's another one. Then under your collarbones. Under your arms. Tapping in that same message. Two fingers. Same message side of the hand and the top of the wrist and if you do that every morning and every evening and put that same message in that you want for that day it will help it helps even down to things like nightmares it really really does help and it's it's instant as i said in some cases almost instant but with repeated use 
you will really reap the benefits. And if you want to massage those points or press and release those points, that's fine too. But if you do the tapping technique in touch therapy, if you do the emotional freedom technique, it's really important to have that positive message right the way down on all of those points. So I hope that's really helped you. I've been quite well behaved today, apart from the poo bit earlier. Um, I'm really impressed with that. I'm not going to watch it back, but I can feel I was pretty well behaved. So have a wonderful week, everybody. And I really mean that. And there's always something for everybody. You know, wherever I go, it's really important to me, even before COVID, to get people to mirror me, to give them those tools that they can use for themselves. It's empowering. It gets that serotonin, the happy hormone, flooding their bodies and brains. You know, not many of us actually feel in charge of that much in our lives. If you're a child, you really aren't in control of anything much at all. And if you're a child with a disability, you really aren't heard or seen. You really, really aren't. It's actually not that much different to when I was getting my Ollie through school. Very little has changed. Very little has changed. And in some ways it's become harder. So fight for your kids. Fight for yourselves. Believe in yourselves. In my work, I see it daily, several times, kids achieving, kids doing what nobody thought would be possible. And I will spend the rest of my life believing in you all and shouting from the rooftops because I'm only five foot three and then I learn a little bit. That's important, that little bit. So even if I need a ladder, that's what I'll be doing for the rest of my life, is driving everybody mad until you lot are accepted because a global community, any community, it's not a community if it excludes people. You all have a right to have a seat at the table, to have your voices heard, to be included. And we shouldn't be having to fight as hard as we do for basic human rights. You're fabulous. So tap that in. You're fabulous. You're possible. You are going to achieve. You know, you are. So on that note, my darlings, stay positive. Enjoy these beautiful autumn days. I call them honey days. You know, when that sun's out and it's low and it's orange and everything feels like honey and, and the air has a certain smell. Anyway, I won't go off on one, you know, but do just enjoy. Enjoy moments of life every day where you can, because that will also keep you happy and healthy. So take care, all of you, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Oh, I nearly forgot, always nearly forget this bit. There's something called algorithms. I think that's what it's called. Somebody told me about it once. Apparently, <clears throat> I had about 900 views last week. I only knew this because someone looked it up for me because I just do what I do and share it and I'm really, really happy with that. But somebody looked it up for me and they said, you know, you had 900 views on, your vid on, on different videos last week. And 83% of those views don't subscribe. So, and, and I'm honestly, it's, I feel really embarrassed saying this. I don't make anything from this. I mean, I'm really, I've said it many times. I'm really not a YouTuber, you know, <laughs> I'm just me. And I like to share. So if you like what I do, or you know of a teacher, a doctor, another family, somebody who would benefit from this, because we are all in this together and a child will thrive if we're a team around them. A young adult will thrive, a full adult will thrive if we're all around them with that understanding and these tools. So if you think what I do would really benefit another family or somebody who you know, please subscribe. You know, I come up with things all the time. So, you know, I mean, I don't, there's over a hundred videos now. There's got to be something that hopefully you'll like. So have a good week, as I said, and stay positive. Stay positive and be there. Be kind, be there for each other. I'm not seeing an awful lot of kindness at the moment out there. So please, one act of kindness a day. I'll see you next week. Bye, my darlings.